Thunder Alley about to explode here in the Houston Astrodome as we watch the machines now, ready on the line. Watch them carefully. Colorful Thundermakers now down into turn number one. Four and five feet uh, now. Six blocks by the rock of turn number two and head down the back straightaway. Lots of pumping going on. Yeah, a lot of bumping here. The, the riders are just don't have enough room yet to operate. Pooby was way on the bottom, and they're they're going to try different lines till they can find which one they think is better. All right, Alex Jorgensen out of Stockton, California, number 44. He is your leader as he hammers down the back straightaway. The rest of the field continue to sort themselves out. Steve Eklund on the move. Eklund, number eight, running in the number two spot. Here's Bubba Schobert moving up now. Schobert, number 67, dicing okay, with Harry Pooby. Pooby to the inside as they head down the back straightaway. Yes, Pooby did get by Schobert. They're both battling for that low groove. Neither one of them want to try the high groove that's working for Jorgensen. So Alex Jorgensen out of front by himself at the moment. Steve Eckler trying to move in on him. Now, some of the riders, uh, Eklund in particular, moves to the inside. Your leaders are up on the high side of the racetrack. Here's yes. Jorgensen using the cushion. That's right. Randy Goss just tried it, and he is starting to move forward now. He just went past the Schobert. Randy Goss, number six, running now in the number three position. Goss looking good the back straight away. Jorgensen continues as your leader. Steve Eckwood trying to move up on him. Goss tried a different line in that corner and he lost the one position that he earned and now he's just gotten it back. So right Terry. now we're just fishing high and low trying to find traction going anywhere. Terry Poovey goes to the inside. He's in the number three spot now. Randy Goss comes back down on the inside. Your leader Alex Jorgensen. Continues in the number two, three, and four position. That's where the battle is shaping up right now. With Steve Eklund, Randy Goss, Terry Poovey, Bubba Schobert, back in the number five spot. It's interesting we have Scott Parker running way in the back. He's trying the highest groove of all, and he's not able to make it work. He's going to have to bring it down if he's going to come through the field. All right, Randy Goss up in the number two spot now. So he got underneath Steve Eklund. Down the back shoot they go. Alex Jorgensen still safe up on the point. Let's watch him as they round off turn number four once again in this 25 laps AMA National Championship. Jorgensen on the high side of the racetrack. Now moving in on him. Here comes Randy Goss using the inside of the racetrack. That's right. This is very unusual to have both the inside and the outside the fastest places. Now what's happening here is that Alex Jorgensen has to work too hard. It takes too much physical energy running around the outside. So he's getting Goss is able to pick up ground by staying low and saving his energy. Look at the two of them side by side, swapping leather, bumping tires as they come off of turn number four. See, now, Alex is a very smart rider. I think that once he sees the low groove is working, he'll probably change and come down there. Alex Jorgensen, number 44, now goes back in the lead. Randy Goss up on the high side of the racetrack. Look at the two of them. Here again now on the front straightaway. Halfway. We are halfway now. See, now, Jorgensen did exactly what we thought. See, he's now trying the bottom groove the same as Goss is. The two of them continue to swap the lane now. Two-time champion down the front straightaway with Alex Jorgensen in pursuit. Jorgensen looking good. Let's see if he can come back now. He led earlier. Now, we have some of the riders back in the field that are trying to work as well as Goss is at this point. Randy Goss, your leader on the blue sheet. Jorgensen dropping off the pace a little bit now as Randy puts a little distance between himself and the second place machine of Alex Hood. Steve Eckman running back in a solid third. Terry Poovey is fourth. It, it looks as though Alex is trying again the high groove. He felt that, well, maybe he can't uh, win out there, but that'll keep his second place solid. So he's gone out there to secure his position, and he's looking solid now. All right, again, your leader. Now, what the riders are trying to do is to come in high so that they can turn early and come out low. Now, it's so slippery that they're not always able to do that. Tim Mertens, number 53, has moved up to the number five position. Tim Mertens, out of Belleville, Illinois, running fifth now. He was the young man who transferred from the last chance event. Yes, uh, he's running a totally different tire than the rest. Pretty well for him. I don't know. 
Oh, Giants running out on him, and uh, Randy Goss has a good, healthy lead now. He leads by about a half a straightaway. Of course, that's not a lot when you consider this is only a quarter mile track. Uh, that's only a couple of hundredths of a second. I think when Alex tried to run down low to stay with uh, Randy Goss, he found that his gear ratio was incorrect, and he couldn't stay down there, and that's why he's moved back up to the high side of the track. Scott Parker. Running way back in the field, Scotty Parker is back at eight. And Scott Pearson is in the number six position. Scott Pearson will generally come on real hard late in the race here, and he hasn't made his move yet, but I still think that uh, he and Burton will have a real battle. All right, Randy Goss continues as your leader. Goss looking real good. He's got a hard one missing here. Won the title in 1980 and again in 1983. Here's the white flag. One more lap to go. Randy Goss was able to stay on that low groove the whole time. He had things figured out just perfectly. All right. Starter Steve Parisi about to bring out the checkers for Randy Goss, your winner. Goss, your winner. Alex Jorgensen finishing second. Terry Kuby is third. Steve Eklund is fourth. And we'll be back with more on the Superchargers and an interview with our winner in just a couple of minutes.